So it is the second day. Face is still swollen. Very much so at the top part of my cheeks. I can like feel the stitches in my gums. Um, it's still pretty difficult to swallow. And my lips are extremely dry. I'm taking meds after meds. I got these bad boys in rotation. The only thing that has really caught me off guard with this whole process is the emotional roller coaster of recovering, the aftermath. Like, it's just, for me, it's, it was just very emotional um, on top of being extremely vulnerable. My mom was doing everything for me, and I was honestly thinking um, about the people outside my family that uh, give a crap about little old me. So I've been a little emotional, just quite melodramatic. <laughs> I just need to take inventory of the people that I choose to have in my life and vice versa. Please be use discernment when you know, including me into your life before you hit that subscribe button and all of that. Like just do your due diligence for the sake of you because that's what's important. But frankly, like I just... There's a lot. I can't even cover it in a wisdom tooth video. How my thought process works, I'm very much so a critical thinker. So um, mind is always rolling. I'm always analyzing something to the very best of my ability for the sake of learning to do better and be better, especially for the things I know I want in life. I gotta be about it. I do. I'm actually shocked I'm able to like talk to you guys um, and y'all can understand me and I'm not like drooling or anything crazy. That's a good thing. <laughs>
because yesterday I don't really feel like I was focused on my inner man as much as I was like the physical man. In my physical state, um, a lot of temporary emotions based off temporary circumstances and I really needed to check myself because it was not doing me any good to just be sitting up here crying for no reason. 2 Corinthians 4.16 really allowed me to gather myself. And uh, I guess I just wanted to share that with you all for day three. I mean, we all are going through something, uh, physically, emotionally, financially, whatever it is. And just know that either, either this too shall pass or it might just be your thorn in the flesh. But have the faith that this too shall pass because you have your whole life to live. And while life is like a vapor, um, you don't want to spend that vapor dealing with the same issues over and over and over again. You want to like develop and grow and experience new things and new levels of life. And that's like the goal is to ultimately, when it's time for us to leave this place, we've been through enough to be the best version that we could possibly be for ourselves and for the Lord. So I just kind of wanted to, to share that and um, I guess I will come back and talk to you guys later about some other stuff. Welling is still pretty bad and I'm starting to really feel tingly in my top socket, so. I know I'm looking rough. I know I'm looking rough. I just wanted to show y'all what I've been eating other than applesauce. <laughs> I think today I want to try to drink something other than water. <laughs> so, I'm going to go with ginger ale because it's caffeine free. I don't, I don't want an infection or anything y'all. I just want this to be smooth sailing so I can get back to eating my nachos. grateful for you all. I'm grateful for I want to say you all um, it's not a lot of people <laughs> as far as people who like truly care about little old me like I appreciate everybody who's checked on me um, during this time like I really value um, you all in my life and I just thank you one hour later I'm probably going to ramble a lot in this video just about random things uh, on my mind or whatever. And it is going to be hard to like make facial expressions because my everything is still a bit swollen. But we shall press forward. Okay, so I don't really use um, apps like Instagram and TikTok and stuff. I have a Facebook, I check that, and I have a Snapchat, and I use that. So those are really the two forms of social media that I'm active on, just like on a regular basis. And if you know Snapchat, then you understand there's all kind of people on there that'll follow you for whatever reason. And uh, yeah, most, most of the people on my Snapchat know me, but over the last year or two, a whole lot of people on my Snapchat are strangers, like people who have found me just through like other apps and stuff. For somebody in particular that I do not know on my Snapchat, hits me up every day just saying, hi, just stop it. Stop, every day, that's it. Hi. No, please, it's, it's irritating. We ain't talking about nothing, we ain't getting nowhere, it's stop. Felt like I just was feeling so overwhelmed this week. Unfortunately, I found myself quite, I guess you could call it depressed, but I don't want to use that term too loosely. But after surgery, I was really just very emotional, even with my diet just being liquids. I was 
I was losing weight, y'all. Like, it was dropping off me, and I don't have the weight to lose, as you can see. And that was making me even more depressed. So, at this point in time, I'm really just not trying to focus on that. And whatever I can't eat, I'm going to just eat it tenfold because I can't. I just can't. I think all I was eating the first couple days was applesauce. So, all day, just applesauce. Same for the second day, only I think the second day I might have had maybe one helping of potato soup. It was so good. You know what, I think I had two helpings of potato soup. And so after the second day, I really wanted to like keep it up, like do what I could because it was very clear, very evident looking in the mirror that I was not eating. And it's not like I could, you know, I got my wisdom teeth taken out, so got a plan different and I asked my mom to grab me a couple things so for the most part I've been eating a lot of soup and now I've incorporated popsicles so I don't know the goal is to just always have something to eat that I can't eat so that I'm snacking and not starving <laughs> like for real y'all <laughs> It's bothering me. I'm not going to complain too much, but, um, all right. Thank you for listening to my Woe Is Me podcast. Thank you and good night.